Hi, this is Aaron Stonebeat, and in this episode I'd like to explain the concept of impedance. Basically in guitar pickups, of course, but the principle goes for any coil. First of all, a coil has a resistance, because it's wound from a wire that has a certain resistance. In this example I'll put the resistance at 5 kilo ohms or 5000 ohms. Many people mistake this resistance for the impedance of a pickup, but it's just plain resistance. It's the same at all frequencies. At best it can tell you how long the wire in the coil is, if you know the resistance per unit of length of the wire. But then, and this is much more interesting, a coil also has a reactance, just like a capacitor does. A frequency dependent resistance. Only in coils it's the other way around than it is in capacitors. Coils have lower reactants for low frequencies and higher reactants for high frequencies. Graphically it looks like this. For those who like to calculate, if you know the inductance of a coil, it's easy to know the reactance. It's 2 pi times the inductance times the frequency. And in this example I take the inductance to be 3 Henry. Finally we have to add the two functions together and then the graph looks like this. Now we have inductive reactance plus resistance and this is what's called impedance. 2 times pi times the inductance times the frequency plus the resistance of the wire. So there you have it. Impedance in less than 3 minutes. But now every coil also has some parallel capacitance which arises from the turns of the coil being close together. In addition, every guitar cable has a certain parallel capacitance which arises basically for the same reason, only now it's the core and the mantle of the cable being close together. As an example I've taken the capacitance of the pickup and the capacitance of the cable together at 1 nanofarad, which might be more or less realistic. In the graph this capacitance would look like this. And since the pickup and the capacitance are in parallel, the resulting resistance over the frequency spectrum would look like the purple graph. And more interesting, any system that combines an inductance and a capacitance will have a resonance frequency at the point where both reactances are equal. A specific frequency at which the system oscillates at its highest efficiency. This is above all the characteristic that determines the tonal character of the pickup in your guitar in combination with its own capacitance and the capacitance of the guitar cable. In this example the resonance frequency would be somewhere between 2700 and 2800 Hz. Now imagine you take a much longer cable or a lower quality cable. 
so that the total capacitance in the system would rise to 2 nanofarads. And see what happens to the resonance frequency. It drops to almost 1900 hertz. And finally, let's switch back to our quality cable. But now we turn down the tone control on the guitar completely. The tone control also is a parallel capacitance. In this example it has a value of 22 nanofarads. So together with the system capacitance we have 23 nanofarads. And take a look. When the tone is completely rolled off the resonance frequency drops to around 500 Hertz. There it is. Impedance and its interaction with capacitance. Think about your guitar cable. If it's twice as long, its capacitance will be twice as high. Thank you.